What's happening? How's it going, everyone? So I was going to make this an Instagram video, but then I got distracted. And then I thought about it more and more and more and more. And so I decided to turn what I was going to teach on Instagram in a short video into a very short podcast. And it's all about getting a swim in. So my name is Ronin, and if you've been listening to this podcast for a while, you know that I have a healthy addiction to swimming. I have a lot of healthy addictions. Nature and swimming tend to be the highest. So I got a swim in today. That was an interesting construct. You know, an interesting way of saying I went for a swim. But the more I thought about it, the more natural it sounded. And just how often we actually use this structure. How often we use this set of words together in this manner. To get something in. Did you get a workout in today? Oh man, I didn't get a workout in. I'm kind of pissed off at myself. I got a swim in at H2O. It was great. H2O is the name of a swimming pool where I live. I got a swim in at the beach. It was absolutely wonderful. During the summer, I tried to get a swim in each morning before work. I also got another swim in in the afternoon. So you say I got a swim in plus whatever. Plus in the afternoon, in the morning, or at for a location. I started thinking more about this and what some other people I know would say with this construction. And I know my brother would like to say, oh, I got a run in this morning. He's obsessed with running. He's a very, very capable runner. I'm a swimmer. He's a runner. So he got a run in. And then there's my sister. She's into her cycling. So she got a bike ride in. She got a cycle in. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow? Well, I'm hoping to get a swim in in the morning, but after that I'm free. Have you got any ideas? So, tomorrow. We often use this structure for planning. Oh, this weekend. Well, I'd like to get a swim in. I'd really like to get some yoga in this weekend. I haven't been doing enough. So, I'm using it to make a future plan in that example there. To let a person know what you're hoping to do this weekend. So your friend comes up to you and they want to do something for the weekend, but you also need to do these things. Why do you need to do it? One, because you enjoy it, but two, because it's healthy. It's really healthy. It's fun. You love it. You want to do it again and again and again. So for me, that's why it's a swim. A swim is not just for health. It's actually something I enjoy. So tomorrow, I really need to get a swim in. If I need to get a swim in, I might say it like that because I'm stressed, because I'm stiff. You know, if you haven't worked out in a while, you might get a little stiff. It's harder to move when you first wake up and you're not loose and you're not limber. You need to do some yoga. You need to get some yoga in to loosen up. If I don't swim for a few days, I feel I really need to get a swim in because I went today for the first time in about five or six days, actually more I think, for the first time in well over a week or two weeks maybe, and I feel like a million dollars. I feel like a million dollars because I got a swim in this afternoon. I got a swim in right after work. I finished work, I jumped in the car and off I went. And tomorrow I'll get another swim in after work. I'll do the exact same thing. I'll hit the pool, I'll get a swim in and my weekend will be off to a very positive start a great start to the weekend get a swim in i might get a hike in this weekend what might you get in this weekend if you're on vacation you're on holidays somewhere oh i might get some sights in in the morning if you're interested i don't know about you but for me when i'm on holidays it's go 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 yeah sometimes i like to relax but i have a lot of energy as you can probably tell from this podcast i have a lot of energy and i have energy to burn and so I like to go on vacation and be very active, but my wife, maybe not so much. So we were in Vegas and I really wanted to get a coffee in a certain casino in a certain place that I'd heard reviews that it was really good. And so I knew she wasn't going to be awake and I knew that was my opportunity to go. So I say to her, well, I might get a coffee in in the Venetian tomorrow morning. 
you're probably going to be asleep. I might get a coffee in, in the Venetian tomorrow morning. Could you use that structure for yourself? Obviously not in the Venetian, but what might you get in tomorrow morning? If you have to meet some friends at, say, 3 p.m., what would you like to get in before that? Oh, before I meet up with them, I'd like to get some exercise in because I know we're going to eat out in a restaurant and I know we might have a few drinks. So in order to earn the drinks, I might get some exercise in. Now, I did my master's a while ago. Feels like an eternity. But the big thing about the master's is every weekend I had to get study in. Because I was working full time as well. And that was the thing about the master's program. It was designed for people who are working full time. However, you're also studying and it doesn't leave you with a lot of time to get exercise in because all the time that you had for getting yoga in, for getting exercise in, for getting some downtime in is now taken by study. So for two years, that's basically all I said to people. Hey, Ronan, what are you at this weekend? Oh, well, I'm going to get some research in. I'm going to get some studying in. I'm going to get some essays in. I'm going to get some college work in. And I'm not going to get any downtime in. It was a nightmare when I look back on it. It was good. It wasn't too bad, actually. I'm, I'm probably just being a little harsh. It wasn't that bad. But a lot of my time was spent getting work in. Getting study in. You could also say done, but we're not talking about that right now. So... I guess when I jumped on this podcast, the idea was to just talk about to get something in, to get a swim in. Why? Because it's healthy. Because you feel you need to do it. Because it's something you may have been putting off for a while. Because it's healthy. Many reasons why. So, today is October 12th. I got a swim in this morning. I actually got a couple of podcasts in too. I'm quite proud of that. I got a couple of podcasts in this afternoon. This is not the first podcast I've recorded today. I'm going to upload this one, but the other ones are going to be drip fed for the next couple of weeks. But I'm really happy because not only did I get a swim in earlier, I got two podcasts in today. And they're recorded. They just need to be edited a little bit, but I got them in. I have that chore ticked off. So to get something in, folks. Who knew that one little phrase could have so many meanings and so many different ways of using it and just how natural it sounds. Oh, this weekend, I'm going to get some tennis in. Oh, this weekend, I'm going to get some rest and relaxation in. Hell freaking yeah. Folks, my name is Ronan. Please check out my website, littlesealenglish.com. You can leave a request for a podcast. I would love for you to do that. We're getting close to 100 podcasts. Holy shit. Time flies. Anyways, hope you're happy. Hope you're healthy. Go outside. Get some downtime in. Get some relaxing in. I hope you get some whatever in that you enjoy. Bye for now.